Welcome back to MacRake Studio. I'm your host, Mark Spencer. With me is Steve Martin, and we're going to talk a little bit about Fonica Pro 10 and... Multi-camera editing. Multi-cam... I'm sorry, say what? Well, not... In, in the purest sense of the word, not multi-camera editing, because multi-camera editing doesn't exist yet. But you could okay. still do multi-camera editing in Final Cut Pro 10. 10. Okay. And uh, just to be clear, this is as of, um, you know, around the Thanksgiving time frame. What about it? Well, just at some point in the future, there's supposed to be this official thing. But right now, today, you can do multi-cam editing right in Final Cut Pro 10. Right now, today, you can All do right. multi-cam editing. All right. Well, let's show people how to do okay. it. Well, before we actually get into that, let's talk a little bit about setup, what we did on, the, on location to set up the For interview. the production. Okay. Right. So... I have a, an image actually in the viewer here, and you can see we have our subject sitting in the chair here. We're, we're doing a pre-lighting here. We have our main camera, which is like by my head here. In fact, I'm gonna uh, zoom in there. There's the main camera. Okay. And then there's a, another camera off to the side, which you can't see. So there's an A and a B. Okay, camera. and those look like still cameras, but those are video cameras? They're HD DSLR yeah. So cameras. 70, 70 cameras shooting the interview. Okay, or that's probably a 5D, 5D actually. Exactly. Okay. The reason I wanted to show you that is because it'll make much more sense when we actually look at the footage. Okay. Okay. So the footage itself... But wait, what, what's, yes. what's, what's that oh, thing? Oh, what's, what's what thing? Oh, that thing. Yeah. That's a... I don't know, a cat that a, got a cat, on the set. A dead cat. <laughs> that's, that's the boom with the uh, wind sock. Okay, so we're recording separate audio from the, cam from the, from yes, the camera. So I'd love separate to say audio. Sep right, okay. because the audio from these DSLRs is not very good. Okay, so we're getting really beautiful audio, but it's completely separate on a separate device. Separate device. So you're going to show us how to put it all together. All together. Two camera angles and audio. And then okay. multi-cut them. All right. Or multi-camera right. edit So them. we need probably an hour for this episode, No, right? it's going to be really quick. Okay. All right, so. I, I believe when I see it. I'm going to open this up, and let's point out the clips. Here's the, the A camera, the one that we just saw, saw in the image, where it's okay. straight on. So this is the, the primary interview camera. Okay. And if I play it, listen to the audio. Different characteristics, the wine comes out. Kind of got a lot of background it noise. It's very, very low. good. Yeah, definitely hear background right. noise. Now here's the B camera, same thing. Even I can barely hear them at all. Right, right. Yeah. It's not very good. Now here and is you can the, see that there's audio in those clips right in the right. now, event browser th there. This brings up a really important point. Mm -hmm. To synchronize audio in Final Cut Pro, you have to have a reference audio track on those cameras. You can't okay. just not create uh, record audio. You have to record something right. in order for the algorithm to sync to. Yeah, but the uh, camera didn't have any separate mic attached or anything. It was just the, the built-in mic that's automatically recording audio. Yes, that's just the built-in. Crappy audio. Yes, crappy audio. But audio nonetheless. Yes. Okay, <laughs> it's good enough for what we needed to do. Right, now this audio right here, this is the audio that recorded on a separate recorder okay. from that little fuzzy microphone yeah, that you yeah. saw. So and if you listen to this. a good mic to a good device. So listen to this. Appalachian of the Napa Valley Appalachian. So different areas. Very clean, very and clean. obviously you can see by the waveform, the good volume. In a different way. Okay. So this is a very. Great. So now you're going to what? Sync to markers on the clap on the on the slate, and there's a slate. Yeah. We're not gonna, we're not going to use a slate. You're not going to use a slate at all. No, we're going to use Final Cut Pro to do it. All right. It's got built-in intelligence, so we're going to do it. So Let's see. we're going to command click these, right? And we are going to go up. Actually, right click on it and just use synchronized clips. Synchronized clips. Okay. Boom. Now, there is the synchronized clip right there. And okay. if you watched a previous episode of this, you'll notice that we made a smart collection earlier card Marcel Marcello, and there it is as it well. It automatically shows up in there. Right. So this is the synchronized clip. Actually, technically, it's it's called a compound clip. Compound clip. Is that what that little thing is in the top left corner there? Yeah, that little indicator, that, that means compound. Okay, okay so, compound clip. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up by double-clicking. Okay. And you're going to see that what Final Cut Pro did is it perfectly synchronized all the audio. You can look at the waveform. They're like perfectly mirror each other, in fact. Uh, it did a, a pretty darn good job of synchronizing these. Because uh, it analyzed the audio in all three and synced them all up for you. It, Nothing to do. Wow. Not, right. Uh, and so you have the A camera on the top. There's your A camera. Okay. And then we have our B camera on the bottom. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, before you actually start cutting this or looking at it, um, I want to point something out in the inspector. I'm going to select the, the uh, compound clip. Okay. And then go to the inspector and click the audio button. And you'll notice into the channel configuration area, there is there are, well, you can see three channels. You have the A, there's your A audio from the A camera, A -camera. the B audio, okay. and then there's the, the clean or audio. Good audio, By yeah. the way, you can skim this. You can skim this, and then you can also play it right from here. You can just move your mouse here just like it okay. was in the timeline. Play, play each of those separately. Right, and you okay. can actually listen to them. So by default, when you synchronize the clip, it's playing all three of those audio tracks together. Right, and it's not what okay. you want. So really what you want to do before you start cutting is, well, we know we don't want to use this audio anyway, so all we need to do yep. is just turn these off. 
Great. And that we're done. Now, so when I play this, now I'm going to go ahead and play a little bit of this, and now you're going to actually hear him perfectly sunk, synced <laughs> with the clean audio, which represented the primary storyline, the green track. Okay. About it come from this appellation here. Um, the air is very dynamic. A lot of fantastic. Isn't that nice? Okay. Now here's where it gets fun. You do have a you do have a clip hierarchy here. These aren't tracks. They're connected not, they're, clips. They're connected clips, and you can see that the the connection line down here. That means that that's the established sync point, as it were. Okay. Okay. So they are connected clips. The thing is, is that they're they're perfectly registered with one another, and that means that if I wanted to, I could s look down and see what's below this clip by disabling the top. Okay. So I'm going to press V. V as in disable. victory. Oh, yeah. v, v, v as in disable. V as in disable, <laughs> right. So now when I play this. <laughs> um, from the, this property in particular, very unique. There is that uh, angle, perfectly in sync. And it's okay. using the clean audio, perfectly in sync yep. with the clean audio. That's pretty amazing. So I'm going to select, um, I'm going to select the clip and press V again. Bring it back. That's, okay. that's V as in disable. Right. Now, you'll also find it if you right click on the clip. There it is. Actually, it's uh, Dis there it is. Disabled, disabled V, yeah. right? So now uh, let, <laughs> we're all leading up to something here, which is multi-camera editing. Okay. Yeah, we want to cut back and forth between between these two. Yes, exactly. Okay. And I've kind of devised a little way of doing this using uh, using markers and the blade. So what we're going to do is I'm going to just move the play at where I want to start, and I'm going to use the M key to to set a marker where I want to cut to the other camera. That's M as in marker. Yes, M as in marker. <laughs> so let's just, I'm going to play a clip in real time, and when I hear a place I want to cut, I'm going to press M. Okay, so you're listening yeah. for little sound bites, basically. A little sound bites. So okay. let's, let's, let's do it. Of the Napa Valley Appalachian. So different areas have different characteristics. The wine comes out in a different way. So this is a very particular area. Uh, probably top of the, uh, the top Cabernet Sauvignons in Napa Valley come from this Appalachian here. Um, the area is very dynamic. Okay, so... There, I have some places I'd like to cut. Okay. Now, all I'm going to do is press B for blade. blade. B for blade, yeah, okay. Not R for razor. Uh -huh. And I'm going to press N for snapping. N for snapping. Right. Okay. And I'm going to snap the blade to the marker, see? Yeah. And I'm just going to snap cut, snap cut, snap cut, snap cut, snap cut. Okay. Now, switch back to the arrow tool. A, a for, for arrow. arrow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for arrow. <laughs> I'm seeing a pattern I know, here. Yeah. There's, it breaks the rules sometimes. It does, it know? does. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to do is, I want to cut to the B camera here okay. and here. So I'm going to select that little chunk, hold yeah. down the command key, select that little chunk. Okay. And then I'm going to press <laughs> v. 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 V for disable. For disable. Right. And okay. now I'm going to play this back and okay. we're going to have a true multi-camera edit. For the sub appellation of the Napa Valley appellation. So different areas have different characteristics. The wine comes out in a different way. So this is a very particular area. Uh, probably top of the uh, the top Cabernet Sauvignons in Napa Valley come from this. Now, do you hear, it's, it's, it's great, but you yeah. are hearing a little audio. I did hear a little okay, audio little difference. Okay, little gotcha. Little okay. gotcha, and okay. you're going to be glad I showed you this. Um, sometimes when you re-enable a clip, you go from disable to enable, disable, enable. Yeah. What, what I've discovered is that, I'm going to go ahead and select, select the, the compound source. clip, okay. is that sometimes what will happen is, is it'll re-enable the other cameras. Oh, because now it lists each of those um, as separate clips. Right, it does. So you got to be careful okay. about that. Really turning it on and you, off. Yeah, you got to be careful to see what it did. So you you got to you just got to no, be careful turn turning off. on and off. Right. Okay. So that's that's something you just got to be good aware call, of. Good and, call. Yeah. Because I notice. So now let's see if, it's, if it sounds clean. Oh, cross it. The Napa Valley Appalachian. So different areas have different there characteristics. You Aren't you there you go. Yes. Up. Yes. That was good. And we cover this and more in our new amazing advanced tutorial that's coming out after the holidays. Okay. Oh, Adva advanced Final Cut Pro. Uh, trimming techniques. Trimming techniques and, and more. This in, and uh, more. And cutting a dialogue tutorial. scene. It's going to be awesome. Very cool way to do multicam editing in Final Cut Pro 10.0.2 yes, right now, right? Right. Just came out right? today. And, uh, of course, if you had... Uh, more angles, it gets a little more complicated, yeah. right? But for two, a lot of for times, two it's angles, on these two angles, it's perfect, very easy. Great. Markers, disable, you can select all those and disable in one shot, and you're mm -hmm. good to go. Great. Go. So um, your advanced Final Cut Pro 10 training is available on... Whenever after Thanksgiving is uh, the 20th. Well, you, it's probably available now when you're watching this, ripplettraining.com. Mm -hmm. uh, thanks, Steve. And thank you for watching MacBreak Studio.